think one of the a serious problems we have in why kids or adults are not engaged in science and engineering is I really believe it has a lot to do with the way we as researchers express our ideas and our research. It's so incredibly beautiful. It's so visual most of the time, yet we're not using the visuals in a way that I think is accessible. And that's one of the reasons why Angela DePace and I wrote this book, not only to bring in the whole notion of designing your stuff to communicate, but that, in fact, while you're thinking of how to represent your work and clarify it for the viewer, you are, in fact, also clarifying it for yourself. So, for example, the spread that we have in the chapter on form and structure, I mean, what we did was have what we're calling befores and afters. So on one side of the spread, you have the image as it appeared in the journal. And this example is, is something called a quantum corral, where Don Eigler and his colleagues um, literally were able to place on a substrate a corral of atoms. Now, you understand, of course, that what we're seeing here is a colored representation. Angela and I talked about the fact that what is also very important besides the corral itself are, in fact, the quantum effects going on within the corral. So we're suggesting get rid of the color. Now, we're not saying this is the only way to do it, but what we're trying to do is push the researchers and students to rethink, for example, color. And that grayscale can, in fact, be clearer. So on the, the grayscale image, you are seeing the atoms, true, but you're also seeing the quantum effects in an equal way. And and it's once again, it's a, we think it's a good idea, and we're trying to suggest to the researchers to just go beyond the accepted way that they generally do things.